What is happening, man? 64 Josh. This is another episode of Twitch Chat. This is the daily vlog where I get together with my Twitch chat and we talk about whatever. And today we're going to be talking about Mario Golf. We're going to see it on the Switch. I've been playing it recently on my 2DS Mario Golf World Tour. And I got to say, what's up? What's up, Twitch? I see. RC Neen, Switch Life, Hoffman, Jack, Miguel, WizKid Games, K9 Cantina, Travels with Batty, Nate. What's going on, everybody? So glad you're here. So, Mario Golf. First came out on the 64, 1999, also on the Game Boy. Two incredibly different games. Mario Golf on the 64 was kind of like your, just your arcade style golf game where just jumped in and golf with Mario characters. Not much more to it than that. The Game Boy game was like an RPG. Like you were playing, you were playing, you were leveling up, you were getting, you know, you were just getting, you were leveling up so you could hit the ball further, maybe learn, you know, a fade, a draw, all that stuff. I was just, I have it up right now. IGN gave Mario Golf on the Game Boy a 10 out of 10. <laughs> like they really, they really liked this game. And it was a good game. It was a good game. And I feel, I feel like going into Mario Tennis Aces, a lot of people were anticipating that level of like RPG elements in a sports title. And it, it kind of fell short for a lot of people. So fast forward to 2014 and we have Mario Golf World Tour, which I've been playing recently. Before I go to bed at night, I've been I've been playing it, and I I put a ton of time into that game when it first came out. The RPG style golf game where I, I I leveled up my character. He can drive like I think I'm at the max drive in that game, which is like 267 yards, I believe. And Mario, just to give you an example, is like 215 yards is his max drive. So. So you can you can level up your character well well beyond uh, the other characters in the game. I think Bowser, you know, some in Donkey Kong, probably Wario, they can probably go like two thirty, maybe two forty, because they're they're bigger characters. So, are we going to see this game on the Switch? I'm getting more and more doubtful as I look at like sales numbers from uh, the sales numbers from. Mario Golf World Tour, it it didn't even sell 500,000 units. And it's a shame because it's a really great game. You have you have not only the the RPG elements of of leveling up your character playing through that way. There's there's different challenges with within the the story mode. Some very challenging courses, especially like this the there's like one that's kind of hidden and it's like the last it's very, very challenging. On top of that, you had tournament. You had online tournaments. For a while there on the Nintendo Powercast, we were still hosting Mario Golf tournaments. And there'd be like, you know, eight to ten of us that would turn out every every week. And the beauty of it is you didn't have to play at the same time. Everybody could play at their own pace. And it allowed everybody to get involved if they wanted to without having, you know, to be on the same schedule. So that was nice. And that was that was great as far as community-focused gaming. It was a lot of fun. World Tour was also, I believe, the first Mario Golf game to have, uh, like a season pass. Had plenty of plenty of DLC. And on top of the 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 story, the RPG, the online, you know, weekly tournaments put out by Nintendo. You could also create custom tournaments. You also had this challenge mode that was like. Play around against Wario. Play against Waluigi. Try to get, like, you have to hit a certain spot on, the, there'd be a coin, like a giant coin on the golf course, and you'd have to hit that, but then also make par. And, some, and, the, and they also added really cool power-ups to this, where it was, you know, you might hit a, hit a box that had a bullet bill on it. Well, then your next shot, you could use the bullet bill for your swing and as you crack the golf ball it would then turn into the bullet bill and it was like full send like it was just gone 
it was gone. And it so there was these, you know, Mushroom Kingdom power ups that added a lot of variety to the game because it wasn't just bullet bills. There was you could get the ice flower so you could hit the water and then bounce off the wherever the ball touched, it would freeze. So then you could bounce off of the off of the water. You wouldn't go out of bounds. That was also very cool. And so there was a lot here. It was a very, very full package, right? DLC, tournaments, challenges, just just the regular gameplay. And you could play. The cool thing is, is you could host, you could get into the tournament and you'd see like 30 people golfing at once. And all it was was just all the balls being hit. And so it was kind of cool that you were you were you were playing with people, but you didn't have to wait and just sit and watch. Like they really refined the the golf experience. But are we gonna see it later? That's 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 what I want to know. So Samurai Beagle says Mario Tennis on the Game Boy was fun. Okay. Uh, Canine Cantina says using using Joy Cons would be great use of the like for motion controls. And I mean, if you guys played any of the Wii Sports games, then then you know how great how great those are with motion control and everything. And even on the Wii U, they stepped it up where you were you would lay the gamepad on the floor and then swing with the Wii remote. That was also very cool. So, um, looking through looking through chat here, Wizkid says he would like to see a season pass with the uh, you know to do get more DLC and uh, Samurai Beagle says I would have got Mario games, but I never got the 3DS. I mean, and that makes sense. You don't pick the game. You don't pick the system up a little tough to play the games, right? And so RC Neen says, I think it's going to come to switch. I, I hope it does. I hope it does. I mean, although world tour didn't sell that great, I know Aces did well. I don't have the numbers right in front of me right now, but I know Aces did well. So maybe that will be enough to to justify golf. And we're going to talk about other games too because you've got Strikers and and soccer is very popular right now. And maybe Strikers would be the game to bring back before golf. I don't know. 500,000 is still a good, it's still a decent number, but I'm guessing it fell way under, way under expectations. So we'll just have to see. What do you guys think? You think we're going to see Mario Golf on the Switch? Let me know in the comments. Do you hope to see Mario Golf? If not, which Mario sports game would you like to see? I can say this. I do hope we get a full-fledged golf game, soccer game, you know, baseball, basketball, whatever it is. I have the Mario Sports All-Star on the 3DS and it's it's fun. They for the golf portion of it, they literally took the assets from World Tour and put it right in the game. And it almost felt like an effort to recoup losses possibly because of world tour i don't know but it also felt like a game that wasn't fully fleshed out and it just felt like mini games not like it, which was fine it was entertaining and it had online which was which was cool the soccer the baseball they were all fun but they didn't feel like a like a full-fledged game and so personally i hope we, they, we don't end up going that route i would love to see these games as standalone games. But we'll see what happens. DJ Maxer says Mario Baseball is what I need in my life. And Nady Nay says I think it all depends on how much Nintendo Nintendo continues to support, and that's the thing between Aces and Mario Party. But with Aces and Mario Party, I mean Aces they supported for quite some time. They still periodically will do some kind of a tournament and you can still go in and unlock characters or at least uh, different cosmetic items for the characters. But the initial sales of both Aces and Mario Kart, I believe, I, I would assume, met their expectations. So they're good after that. The money's already in their hands. 
as as the consumer, we hope they continue to support it. And they did support World Tour very well for quite some time. Game's six years old. So fingers crossed that that they would put a game out like this, support it very well, and uh, and that the community enjoys it. Mario has a lot of pull right now. So I, I, I believe the game could be successful. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.